So after that mixed doubles, our next semi-final is the first of our two women's singles, and it features the number one seed, Jiang Bei Wen of the United States of America, looking to reach a second Grand Prix Gold Tournament final because she won the US Open three years ago. She's up against Pai Yu Po, who's looking to reach a first ever Grand Prix Gold Tournament final. Well, when we look at the women's singles draw from quarterfinals onwards, only five different nations involved, and that's because there was four players from Chinese Taipei, three of them in the top half of the draw. Only three seeds by semi-finals. We've got those three seeds have come through, but we now have four different nations involved and of course we're going to see both of those semi-finals this afternoon but we're starting in the top half of the draw with Zhang Bei Wen against Pai Yu Po. So here they come led out by the number one seed Zhang Bei Wen making her second appearance here at the Bitburger. Grand Prix goal. The first time she came, she was the number three seed. Three years ago, she lost in the quarterfinal stage to a qualifier, a certain Herbing Jiao, who went all the way through to the final and lost that match in three games. Herbing Jiao has won this title since. In fact, she won last year. And Herbing Jiao is a well known face on the world tour in the world of super series so this will be the fifth meeting between the two players and of the previous four well Zhang Bei Wen has won the last three including the last time was in the final of the US International Challenger event it was 48 minutes for those three games the second last time they played each other was here in the Bitburger Grand Prix gold in the second round three years ago. Frank Ostrom from Denmark is our umpire for this one. And I have to say it's lovely to see Pai Yu Po back not only on court but back playing well. I had an elbow injury at the end of last year. And, in fact, ended up having surgery on her right arm. Now playing very well indeed. But this is her first semi-final for two years. But let's look, first of all, at the number one seed, Zhang Bei Wen, 27 years of age, born in Anshan in Liaoning province. Lives in Las Vegas, so she does spend an awful lot of time living here in Europe. Number 12 on the world ranking at the moment. Spent a total of two weeks as world number one. <laughs> world number one. World number nine. Uh, two different spells of one week each. Now, as far as her matches are concerned, well, in the second round, uh, she beat the player who we've just seen in the mixed doubles, Nina Kiesfeld, in three games. That's the only match that's gone the full distance so far. Left-hander, Kate Fukun of Mauritius in the first round and Li Chia Sin of Chinese Taipei yesterday in the quarterfinal. So to the unseeded Pai Yu Po, 26 years of age and she has spent a total of two weeks, two one week spells as world number 20. 51 in the world which reflects the fact she's been out injured. She's making her third appearance here. She lost to her opponent of today, as I was telling you, in 2014. In 2015, she lost in the first round to Akane Yamaguchi, who went on to win the title. Now, as her, her matches are concerned, in the first round, she beat the player who'd been in the final here in 2015 when Yamaguchi won. Busanan Ongbangorangpan. In the second round, she had three games against Hanna Ramadini. And then a fellow teammate yesterday. So this is her first semi-final since winning the 2015 US Grand Prix events in which she beat Kirsty Gilmore in the final. So 
it's almost two years ago since her last semi-final appearance. And that's why I say how lovely it is to see Pai Yu Po back at the latter end of tournament. So our umpire, as I was telling you about from Denmark, our service judge from Belgium. Pai Yu Po was talking to me at breakfast and was telling me how she's really missed being away from the limelight and oh, she did say some very nice things about how she had enjoyed my commentary even though she was sitting at home undergoing rehab for that surgery on the elbow. Ladies and gentlemen, on the right, Bai Ben Chang, USA. On my left, Pai Yu Po, Chinese Taipei. Pai Wen Sang to serve. The ball. Play. So the number one seed, Chang Pei Wen, getting this semi final underway against the unseeded Pai Yu Po. One. I'm sure many players will remember her older sister, Pai Xiao Ma. Winner of four titles from five finals, including winning the 2012 US Grand Prix gold. So, trying to emulate One. her big sister by winning, Four. or at least getting to the final of a Grand Prix gold tournament. Missed it. So it was over. Two. One. Well, first ever player from Chinese Taipei in the women's single semi-final here since the inception of the Grand Prix gold. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. My goodness me, she couldn't have walked over there and placed it any better. All. Oh, that's, that is absolute perfection. Three, two. Well, this lady is also the first ever player representing the United States of America in the women's singles semi final at this particular tournament. Oh. Missed it. But there have been winners Three, of all. the Bitburger Grand Prix Gold. I'll correct myself, it wasn't a Grand Prix gold then, it was the Bitburger Open in 2005, 12 years ago. Tony Gunawan and Halim Harianto, both three. born in Indonesia, but representing the United States of America at the time when they won the Bitburger Open. It's gone wide. So, so far, four, all. Five, four. Well, as far as players from Chinese Taipei, of course, Chiao Tian Chen in the men's singles won the title here three consecutive years. And that was after it had become a Grand Prix gold event, 2012, 13 and 14. The only Six, player from Chinese Taipei four. ever to win a title here at the Bitburger. Oh, just overdone it. So well, Zhang Pei Wen was expecting six. a lift. Mm, didn't miss by much, did it? Oof. 
That must have missed by a whisker. Six. All. My goodness me. Yeah, it was a good call by the line judge. That was a fraction wide. It's landed well in. There is, Seven, I think, a bit of a length with this lengthwise drift here. And I think the shuttle holds up that far end. So the shuttle flying faster coming towards us as we all look down on the court. Service over. Seven. All. Well, so much for my theory. Eight, seven. Oh, that's a good shot. Very one. nice shot. Zhang Bei Wen, actually move to Singapore, age 13, under the Talent Sports Recruitment Scheme, the government-sponsored scheme Hold. to encourage so talented well. athletes to represent Nine, Singapore. Eight. Moved to the United States in 2011. Several times, Paiyu Po has tried that little cross-court net shot from her forehand side. Yeah, simply too loose on the block. Ten. Got what it deserved. So this next rally will decide who has the advantage at the mid-game interval. And the luck of the net cord means Ten. that it is Pai Yu Bo who has the advantage. Both players here without coaches. <laughs> Chang Bei Wen doesn't have a coach. Seven minutes to the mid-game interval. Yeah, we haven't had many long rallies, have we? Four, one, 20 seconds. Four, one, 20 seconds. Mm, empty coaches chairs there. That's a nice drop. Yeah, good follow up too. If you see that your opponent has been 12. deceived by your shot, 
and they're taking it late as Pai Yupo does here, then there's only one shot they pl can play and that's back towards the net. That's why you have to follow forward so quickly to make the kill, finish off the rally. That's the opportunity. Over 13-11. Oh, well, we know that Paiu Po is a hugely talented individual. She's been to three games in the past with Those current Olympic champion Karolina Swan. Marin. 13. Akane Yamaguchi, Herbing Jiao, Sung Ji Hyung, Sina Newell. And that's pretty much a list of players in the top ten at the moment. I think Simon Newell is just out of the top ten, but Simon Newell, bronze medalist at the recent World Championships, 14. having been a silver oh. medalist at the World Championships in Jakarta in 2015. So when you have a, a list of players that you've gone to three games against like that, you know the player must be hugely talented. Oh my goodness, full pirouette before she played that backhand. Pai Yu Po. 13, 15. Oh, well taken. Yeah. It was the disguise and hold and flick deep into the forehand corner of Zhang Bei Wen. 16, that one that did the damage. 15. Here it comes. This one here. That's got it past her. There's only one shot she can play. And Pai Yu Po was ready and waiting. 17, 13. Oh, yes. 14, 17. Oh, just wide, and I think that's just as well 15, from Jung Bei Wen's perspective. Nowhere near that. Simsawa. 18, 15. Oh. Oh. That's well judged. 19, 15. Another one drifted wide. 16, 19. Don't hang about, do they? These two are getting on with it very quickly. It's perhaps after the uh, previous umpire kept warning the players for taking too long in between rallies. Mm. Missed opportunity. 20. And that game error means that Paiu Po has four game point opportunities. Service over. 17, 20.
And that's game. gone long. And on her second game point opportunity, Pai Yu Po of Chinese Taipei takes the opening game 21 17 one against the number one seed, Zhang Bei Wen. A little over 14 minutes for that opening game. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. So the call of 20 seconds is always Court the ready. signal that the players need Court to get themselves ready. ready. Second game, no ball, play. What a good rally. Oh, behind the back. Oh, that's magnificent. What a great opening rally to this second game. Every inch of the court explored. The disguise, the deception, the, the trick shots as well. Really had everything. Oh, looks so comfortable Two. playing the trick shot too. Love. Oh, good net exchange. Well, in her second round match, the number one seed, Chang Bei Wen, Love. against Lena Kiersfeld. Only time she's gone to three games so far. She, it was the opening game that she dropped and then came back very strongly, 13 and 13. Mm. And we're going to see a similar thing here. Seven, two, one, three. Service over. Four, one. Short. Yeah. Five, one. Yeah, it was good defence from Zhang Bei Wen. Oh dear me, that was a shocker. One. What on earth happened there? Mm. 
completely lost her way at the start of this second game One. by you, Paul. Service over. Two, seven. So well. Eight, two. Oh, oh. Mm, good disguise. Nine, two. Yeah, just a bit of body movement, swaying one way, looking as if she was going to lift the shuttle and then playing it back to the net. Oh, that is delightful. Ten, two. Oh, Ooh, one way traffic at the moment in this second game. To the mid-game interval Into with a nine-point advantage. Zhang Bei Wen. Well, she's already won a tournament this year, the Dutch Grand Prix. That was her third title at that particular event and her second consecutive. Beat Michelle Lee in the final there in Almira. Well, no, no, not only won a title, this is Court her sixth one. semi final this 20 year. Seconds. One. Apart 20 from seconds. winning the title, then she's been in four semi finals. Two Grand Prix Golds, the German Grand Prix Gold and the Thailand Grand Prix Gold. And they reached the semi final of the Singapore Super Series as well. And in fact, just 11, to give an indication of Late. how good Zhang Bei Wen is. She's actually been in a final of a Super Series event, reached the final in Paris a year ago, the French Super Series. Now that was a tired looking shot to me from Pai Yu Po. Three. Beautifully 13, found the gap. Three. Zhang Bei went. Good defence off the body too.
place. Service over for 13. Miss it. Oh, she's missed it. Goodness me, that was a lapse Five, in concentration. 13. Well long. Again, that uh, shot from the round the head position looks a very Five. tired shot to me. Not getting her feet in the correct position before she's trying to play in. Parts because of the deception from her opponent, but somehow she's got to get those legs working again. 15. Well, almost Five. certainly. I think we'll have a third and deciding game. And wide as well. Sixteen five. Mm. Seventeen five. Total command now of this second game. Jiang Bei went. Look at that delightful little. Forehand net shot. So it's a what? Six, seventeen. and feel on those little net shots has deserted her. Playing them beautifully in the opening game. Yeah, that's another nice one. And again. Nineteen. Two points six. away from the second game. Going by when? One point away 20. from the number one seed. Game point. From forcing a decider. Six. Game. So one game all in this women's singles semi-final. Won the second game at a canter. Chang Bei Wen. 21-6. One game all. Ready? Should she think it's going to land in and need to play it? It's always a good sign. A sign of fitness too that they're not prepared, they're not worried about working. So, 28 minutes into the match, and it's one game all.
Court one. Twenty seconds. Court one. Twenty seconds. Final game. Love all. Play. So the umpire calls for the start of the final game. So Paiu Po is going to have to up her game from the level of the second game one. because this lady, nope. the number one seed, Jiang Bei Wen, absolutely storming through that second game, very much in control. She's continued Two. where she's left Love. off in the second game, here in the third. Oh, clever. Yeah, that's nice. That's the sort of deception that she was One. using in the opening Two. game to great effect. By you, Paul. Nice slice, and then the power play, and then the deception. suspect it only had to go Three. over and in to be a winner because Paiu Po was on her back foot looking to cover the back of the court Was landed in. Three, That's four, a good shot. Three, yeah, four, give her encouragement. She needs to get her confidence back. By you, Pope. Mm, it was in clearly in. So is that. So is over. Five, three. Oh, what a beautiful smash. Threaded it down the line. Nigh on perfect. Service over. Four, six. Shot out wide, then one to the body. Oh, what a defensive shot, my goodness me. Six. 
on. I'm back level. She's very, very effective Six. with her attacking play. Zhang Bei Wen. And she gets the opportunity. We saw one a moment ago straight down the line of the forehand side of Pai Yu Po, that time down the backhand. Nice. Eight. Yeah, she was alert to the flat push. Seven, eight. Pose just lifting to this lady. I feel that Jiang Bei Wen is in the driving seat. Good rally, yeah. Ten, seven. So it's a four-point advantage for the number one seed, Chan Bei Wen, as the players change ends in this deciding game. Thirty-seven minutes into the match. can see the other court in action. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Poe wants to reach her first ever Grand Prix Gold final. She's got to play it tight from the start of this final section of the match. Four points adrift. She must start closing down her opponent. And she commanded an awful lot of the rally that she couldn't convert in the end.
Yeah, and that's another sign of tiredness, mistiming the 13, shot. Seven. I thought there were signs in the second game from that round the head position. By you, Pope. Well, it's six straight points. It was eight, seven. Out. Seven 15, straight points. Seven. Well, I think physically she's struggling. There's a huge difference between <laughs> getting back to match fitness and what you regard in training as fitness. It's always a little more intense on court Eight, in the match 15. situation. Plus the nerves, M nerves affect the breathing. Service over. 16, 8. It's gone long. 17. Well, eight. it's fizzling out a little bit, this women's singles, but in all honesty, I have to say that it is. Wonderful to see Paiyu Po back on court again. Back on court playing well. Obviously needs to still work on the fitness the levels. Nine, and it's always a 17. joy to watch this lady, Chang Bei Wen. Beautiful stroke production. Lovely, smooth movement around the court.
So our next semi-final is men's doubles and it features the bronze medalists from the European Championships. Matthias Christiansen and David Dao up against the number four seeds from Indonesia. Faja Alfian and Mohamed Rian Ardianto. As far as the men's doubles draw is concerned, six different nations involved from quarter-final stage and seven of the eight of the eight seeds, now I say seven of the eight seeds, there was only seven seeds that started because number eight seeds, Ellis and Langridge, pulled out before the start of play. Three different nations involved at the semi-final stage, two Danish pairs, one in each half of the draw, but as you can see, four seeded pairs, only discipline where that's happened four seeds at semi-final stage. So we're going to concentrate on that top half of the draw, the number five seeds, Matthias Christiansen and David Dalgor up against Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Rian Adianto. So there are the Danes. The ones with this at the European Championships earlier this year. Played on home soil for the Danes in the city of Kolding. Now they've been quarter finalists here. In fact, this is their fourth consecutive.